Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I wanna to show you guys my little mini Bath & Body Works haul. I did pick up uh, the new spring mini mist in the, it is the wave one that I found in my store. I did have coupons that were expiring tomorrow, 20% off and then a free small body care item. And then the store was also doing a sale, buy three, get one uh, free mini body care. So I just wanna go through and show you each of the scents and give you a little description and my thoughts on them. So the first one, which is new, is Water Lily Springs. And this is actually out of stock online. So it is, seems to be a very popular one. In my store, there was a lot in stock though. So the description on this one is, it smells like a beautiful waterfall at the end of a scenic hike. And the notes are, dew kiss lilies, crisp waters, and clean musk. To me, this is like a floral aquatic. It is very pretty. I could smell the lilies and a little bit of that musk, but it's so, it is very pretty. It's definitely more, I would say, um, like it's aquatic, it's fresh and a floral. And I definitely see why this is a favorite for a lot of people. I feel like this is a very likable scent. Um, very pretty. I will definitely enjoy this like in the spring, summer. I, I like it. I'm happy I got it. The next one is Sea Salt Coast. And this one's a little controversial, I feel like. Some people like it, a lot of people don't. This is not a favorite. Um, this smells like finding your own personal oasis by the sea. And it has notes of salty air, water, lotus, and sandalwood shores. So, I do find this to be more unisex and I definitely get like a lemon scent when I first spray it, almost like a cleaning product. And I do smell like the aquatic notes. I guess this would just be more like a fresh, clean aquatic. It's not bad. It's not as bad as some of the reviews I've seen. I've seen the, this one guy on TikTok say it was terrible. I don't think it's terrible. And I, I find it to be strong too. I think it's different. It's not my personal type of favorite, but I don't find it terrible. I would definitely use this. There was one review on Bath and Body Works website and the review said it was a lemony scent. And I do agree. I definitely get that lemony smell when I first spray it, but as it dries, I don't smell it as much. And they did say they got like a dish soap vibe which I get, I definitely get that as well. But they did say it was strong, beachy, and lemony. And I agree with all of that. So yeah, no sea salt coast. And I did get Rose. This is a repackaging, re-release of Rose. And I didn't have one. My daughter does have a full size, which keeps it in her room. So I thought I'd just get it and add it to my personal collection. And I do think the packaging is really pretty with the rose and the green. I do, I think it's pretty. And it says it smells like a clean, playful, light flower shop delight. I always love their descriptions. And the notes are airy rose water, jasmine petals, and creamy musk. I always thought this Kind of smell like a real rose. Um, this one does actually smell a little different than my daughter's because hers is a little more sweet, which is strange. It's, I mean, it's about the same thing, but there was just like a different sweetness in the one my daughter had. But it's a very pretty floral rose. I don't think it's too mature smelling. It's definitely different than satin slippers. A lot of people compared this. This has white rose, creamy jasmine, and airy musk. They do have very similar scent notes. They're very, very similar, but rose is a touch sweeter. There was no reviews online with the new packaging. And now this one is new and it's a signature scent. 
Calypso Clementine. So they will be coming up. They do have the full collection. You have the perfume and everything. And the description on this smells like a light, beautiful, and playful citrus celebration. And the notes are juicy clementine, neroli nectar, and coastal woods. I remember when I was talking about the new scents coming out and I thought it would smell like, like an orange perfume. And it does. To me, it's good. I think it's sweet citrus. And it has kind of kind of like a perfume vibe. Not super strong though. Definitely a lighter and a heavy on the citrus. I don't really get the woodsy notes, but maybe as it dries down. But some reviews, there was quite a bit of reviews. It had 4.7 stars. And one review said it was an orange sapphire distant cousin. I never smelt that one. And they said it was a fresh and clean scent and if you want gourmand mixed with warm vanilla sugar so I'll definitely have to try that. Someone gave it a negative review and they said it was boring, very light, it's fine but it's nothing special and then somebody else said it was a unique citrus scent. I don't know if it's, I wouldn't say it was unique. It's pretty, it's definitely pretty fresh. I think it's bright, I think it would be great in the morning to wake up Someone else said it was fresh citrus, refreshing, woodsy notes give a depth and make it unique, reminds them of fresh getaway. I've never smelt that one either. And so as it, as it dries down, I get more of the woody. It does give it some depth, so I do agree with that. And someone else said it was be nice for the spring and summer. I even think it would be nice like at the end of summer going into fall. Now the last one I got, I actually got it an accident. I meant to pick up another Sweetheart Cherry because I'm like halfway gone with mine and I accidentally grabbed Strawberry Pound Cake, but I'm not disappointed because I do own an older one. I believe this is like the OG packaging. I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100%, but I do hear people saying it is. And the juice definitely looks a lot darker in the new one. This is a part of the Valentine's collection. So here is Sweetheart Cherry. Look how much I used. When there is a like body care sale or a fine fragrance sale, I will definitely get the full size of this because I love it. But um, yeah, they're part of the little Valentine's collection. And I do think the packaging is so cute. They are very similar. So that's why I grabbed the wrong one on accident. <laughs> but they're so cute. This one has cherry and hearts. This one has strawberries, cupcakes, and hearts. But strawberry uh, pound cake smells like a fruity and mouth-watering and sweet. And it has notes of fresh picked strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. And I actually think this one smells better than my old one. Um, super sweet strawberry. It's like a strawberry cake, but the strawberry note is so strong. Because I always thought my older one smelled more artificial. I definitely think the newer one's better. I mean, they're similar. But my older one has a more alcoholness to it. And it could just be because this one's so much older that that's why it doesn't smell as good. I mean, obviously they're the same thing. It's just, I could pick up the slight differences. This one's just sweeter and I don't get that alcohol in first spray. It's just, it's really good actually. I really, really like it. I get the hype. But this one has uh, five star reviews and somebody said it was long lasting. And then somebody else commented on the packaging saying it was cute packaging and they want more bakery scents like raspberry jam donut. And I agree. I would love for them to bring back raspberry jam donut. So out of all these that I bought, which one would I purchase in full size? Probably Water Lily Springs and maybe... Calypso Clementine. These other ones, I'm fine having the minis. And obviously, Sweetheart Cherry, I would get a full size. <laughs> but let me tell you guys how much I spent and what I saved. And I got, I told you the coupons I had. I had 20% off. I had a free um, coupon for a mini body care. 
and then they were also having a sale buy three minis get one free so the total I saved was $23.27 and I did have a gift card well they gave me a gift card in store because I did do a price adjustment from the semi-annual sale because I bought everything originally for 50% off and then everything went down to 75 and if you do that within 14 days of your purchase they'll do one-time price adjustment so I used that which was 2148 and then I just had to pay a dollar and 64 cents with my own money <laughs> But have you guys tried any of these new spring scents? I would love to know your thoughts on them. Are you planning on getting any of them? I don't know if there's any upcoming body care sales coming up. I do know they're going to have a hair sale coming up. I believe it actually starts tomorrow. Hair care promotion on their shampoos and conditioners. Um, I never tried those. I am definitely interested. Maybe I'll pick up like one to try. But... I would like them to come out with more like newer scents too. Like um, I know they have a lot of their signature scents in the hair care, but if they came out with like a sweetheart cherry, oh my gosh, I would be so excited. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. I appreciate you all so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and I'll see you all later. All right, bye.